Good evening. A woman says she met eyes with a man peeping into her bedroom window. And now Midwest City Police are hoping to put that suspect, who they've dealt with on multiple occasions, behind bars. Our Steve Shaw spoke with two women who say they were both victims. Steve? Kelly and Amanda, police are searching for 35-year-old Jeremy McIntosh. This time, police may have fingerprints, even DNA, to finally put him away. This is Jeremy McIntosh. His appearance has changed over the years. This guy needs to go away because nothing tended to face him or scare him at all. LaDonna Heintzelman took out a restraining order against McIntosh four years ago because she says he repeatedly tried to peep into her house. Stop it. Stay, stay on your own street. You know, quit looking in windows. Quit threatening women. It's not okay. This is like the fourth time that we've dealt with him just on a peeping Tom charge. Police say McIntosh's latest offense happened at a home just a five minute drive from Midwest City Police headquarters around 10 p.m. May 30th. That victim tells me she's still shaking. She looked McIntosh straight in the eye outside a bedroom window before he ran away. That woman found a half empty bottle of Minute Maid pink lemonade next to the window. And that was um, taken into our lab and will be tested to see if we can get identification on that. So he just doesn't learn about what he's doing, that he needs to stop. But it's a huge threat and safety issue for women. You know, at what point is he going to cross the line? Court records show McIntosh spent time in prison after a 2013 burglary conviction. Live on the scene on the story outside police headquarters, Steve Shaw, News 9.